Hey guys, what up again? Bryce here coming to you for week three Vito's League recap week two. And we're going to do something a little bit special this time since I'm going out of town all of next week. So I won't be able to do any projections or anything or all that. So we're going to cram it all into this one time. So this one might take a little bit longer. I be might be above my 30 minute ratio, my 30 minute holding time because I got to go through all of week three projections and all of week four. Uh, for those of you who have been keeping track at home, I congrats to you. Congrats to you for keeping track and for also joining in on it, you know, being in on the fun. I appreciate everybody who's checking out the videos, enjoying all of the content, hopefully enjoying all of the content, I guess I should say. So uh, we are here again. We're going to do a little bit of a recap. And to start it off, we're just going to look at the standings. Really, I just want to I want to get everybody aware of what's going on in the league. So right now, Sealer Senior. Commissioner Vito and four Netflix and chill are two and oh. Myself, it's the skull and Pabe, new team, new name. Oh, and two been a rough two weeks, guys, rough two weeks. And I can't say, I mean, really, I've, I've been one of the lowest scoring teams I've faced about average points against. So it's just it's just me it's just on myself, on my team. So I, I, I'm, I'm we're making some moves. You guys see some trade offers coming your way. You know, don't just just check them out. See what we can do. Um, I think my team will get better as the season goes on. I do have a bit of an injury bug for whatever reason. Uh, my team just likes to get hurt, so we'll, we might be struggling for another week or two. Uh, hopefully, I can get a win, though. I need to get a win, because if I start 0-4, I might start getting worried. 0-3 is tolerable, but we'll figure it out. We'll get going. So, really quick recap from last week. This is what happened. These are the scores right there. So, first off, week two, I projected myself... As, as I knew I shouldn't, I, I said it before I even started. I said, I think Sealer's got this one, but I have to vote for myself. I got whooped. It was, it was ugly. Put up 89 points, 45 by Cousins. So literally my other, what, nine starters, eight starters, put up 40 points combined. Wow, bro. Wow. Um, the dirtiness. So that, that's 0-1 right there. I, I picked myself. The next one, Sealer Senior. And Pave coming in for the 106-106 tie, going to the bench score for the W for Sealer Senior. Luckily, I picked that one. Luckily, I got that one right. But that was a that was damn close. I, I feel for you, Pave. I know how that is to lose by bench points. It's it's okay though. You know, it's okay. Similar to Gaiman. And it's the skull, another close three-point game. I picked Tyler there, so I'm two and one this week. Alec over Casey. I did pick Alec. So there's three and one. Commissioner Vito over Jason. I went Vito. Crazy talk. I went Vito. Four and one, baby. And then the will end it off. I went Lee. Five and one this week, guys. Big turnaround. The only one I lost was myself, which really I didn't lose that. I knew I was going to lose going into the week. Having Freeman hurt. Having Doug Baldwin hurt. Can't even get any of my performers out there. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Anyways, that's it. Five and one. What a hell of a week there. A couple lucky close calls, but I think I nailed it last week. So I'm turning it around total right now of seven and five. Seven and five. So those of you who won last week, congrats. Um, those of you who are hanging out at 0 and 2, myself, Pave, and of course, it's the skull. A, a rough week there, dude. Seriously, you can see right here, like it was projected to be a blowout, like projected to be a blowout. Uh, Matt Ryan went off, which is crazy, um, but, you know, 31 points, it's a big week, um, but yeah, so so we're here, we're hanging out, we're hanging out, um, I feel bad again, Hyden, Zeke, Jason, Aaron Rodgers, I'm just looking at the quick scores here, not going to go in detail, but Aaron Rodgers at 16 points, it's a bad week for Rodgers, and you lost by four, so I mean, you can't beat yourself up, Vito starting off 2-0 and for the first time, and I don't know how long, it's been a minute, but anyways, we're coming back at it. Week three and week four, like I said here, in tandem. So you're going to get double dosage of me. So if you want to, you can stop it middle of the video. I'll let you know. Obviously, it'll be easy to get here. Sorry, I'm, I'm putting in the numbers so that way I'm keeping track of all of these. But yeah, week three and week four coming at you here now. Um, if anybody would like to see anything added to these videos, uh, let me know. I apologize. There we go. If anybody would like to see anything added to these videos, let me know. Shoot it in the comments. I really, I appreciate you guys just checking it out. Really, it's fun for me to do these. Gives me some practice and I appreciate you all hanging out. So again, dominant week picks wise there for me personally. Week three. 
you know what? When it rains, it pours for Bryce's team. Nothing in life is free, man. Nothing in life. Not only am I still banged up, I go against, my opinion, one of the top scoring teams of the league, Derek Lee. Projected at a heavy 109. I'm at 92. Um, again, I'm picking myself. Uh, uh, it just gets harder every week to keep picking myself losing, man. But we're picking myself here. I think I've got it in the bag. Uh, the next one, we've got Gaiman versus Senior. And honestly, right now, like looking at Sealer's squad, Sealer Senior, man, he's got a good squad. You know, we'll check it out here. Patty Mahomes, number one quarterback, rest of the year. He's having the Alex Smith type of season and odd that it may be under Andy Reid without Alex Smith there. Duh. Duh, dude. Excellent pickup of quarterback. Gurley Peterson running hot. Green Hill running hot. I mean, his team right now is kind of stacked. Uh, I feel bad he's running Lynch and Barber, though. I mean, that's your, your depth is running thin, but you're stacked right here, dude. Even Benjamin Watson, I'll throw in there. You're stacked at the starters. I think Tyler had a good week last week, but he has a stacked team as well, in my opinion. Lamar and Alfred didn't do much for you last week. I think they'll re I think they'll turn it around. I'm not putting Henry, Carson, Johnson. Don't touch them. They're ugly. Don't do it. But uh, your team could have a turnaround week. Julio, Maddie, and, and Odell could have a big pop. But I'm still going Sealer Senior here. Sealer Senior. I'm going to ride that forever. Ride it forever, man. He is on a hot streak right now. Uh, let it. Let it go. Let it go. Next game, we've got Casey and Pave. Oh boy, dude. Oh boy. This, this is about as abysmal as it gets. No offense to you two, but you guys are both in like a little bit of a dry spot. Your teams, for whatever reason, I feel bad because Casey's losing foals now. Wentz is officially the starter, so I'm curious who you're going to put in there, who you're going to pick up off the waiver wire, who you're going to get from the wire. I don't know who's available. I haven't looked. My quarterback, I'm okay with. I'm just keeping it. We got Gordon and Drake, DeAndre Hopkins, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks had a good week. DeAndre Hopkins has been underperforming. But Giants is the team to go off against, so he might have a good week. Uh, looking at the other side, though, in order for Hopkins to go off, Watson has to go off, which is tough. David Johnson's looking good. Amari Cooper, Robbie Anderson. Get rid of him. What are you doing, Pave? What are you doing with, Am with Robbie Anderson in there? It's okay. He's fine. He might score a touchdown again to save your week. Other than that, it looks pretty rough, dude. Looks pretty rough. I'm going to have to go Casey here. Casey's team just has a good, good enough depth. If he can find a quarterback this week, if he can stream somebody that's going to get him the 20 points he needs, uh, I think he'll be fine. And I say 20 points. I know it's a lot, but that's been the top 12 average right now is 20 points. So, Casey, I call it for you unless you can't get anything off the waiver wire. You know, if people start scooping up peeps and it's, it's a rough one, we'll see what happens. But I, I have faith in Casey this week. Vito versus It's the Skull, the 2-0 and versus the 0 and 2 the battle of David versus Goliath right now. And it, it, uh, it's getting ugly right now. I feel bad for Vitron because right now, Skull's team is hitting his hot spot. He's got Wentz coming back. McCaffrey's looking good. Hogan, I, I know they just got Josh Gordon there. It's, it's, I'm not worried. Hogan, Hogan's a good guy. He's going to do well. Hopefully, Fournette and Goodwin are still healthy. That's what I'm curious of. If they all start, if your starting lineup is good, I think this goes to you running away, Skull. I think Skull gets his first win. I think Vito gets his first loss. I understand that Vito's team is also very good. Don't get me wrong. Russell Wilson, though, has been a little weak. Saquon has been kind of hit or miss. Royce Freeman hasn't been hot. It's like Michael Thomas and T.Y. saving your team. Rudolph was a little spice in there, but just saying, I have a gut feeling I'm going Skull this week. Vito, I'm sorry, but hopefully your team's pissed off again. They get the W for you. But I just, I, the, the, the Wentz factor is too much right now, dude. He's going to come out fired up. He's going to put up a lot of points. I understand. Look at how bad that projection is. That's horrible. But I'm going. Going big for Skull. Sealer and Alec. The 1-1 one one versus the 2-0. Oh. <sighs> this going to be a tough one, dude. I think, I think Alec's team, I, I still love it. I think it's very good. Alec's team is, is dynamite. I'm, I'm not going to put the juju out there yet, but I think that Bell, if, if there's a week that Bell comes back, I personally feel like it's this week. I'm just saying I know Connor's been doing okay. He's been doing all right, but you tie to the Cleveland Browns and you lose to the Kansas City Chiefs. 
granted, the Chiefs are good. Don't get me wrong. Patty Mac is, is delicious. But come on, Pittsburgh. If you have if you have Bell in there, you win both those games. I love James Conner. I understand he's fine. But if you have Bell in there, you control the ball more. You can pass better. And you didn't lose week one against the Browns. Sorry. It's just too, too much. <laughs> However, Sealer's team is a stacked house. Sanders, Diggs, Hunt, Brady is all good. Phillip Lindsay's kind of a good pickup. I'm hoping Ajayi is, is healthy this week. I know he, he did okay last week. He got eight points based on a touchdown save. But I think he's going to be back. I think he's going to be fine. Phillip Lindsay, though, like, uh, I don't know, man. He did. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't trust him yet. But right now, I've got to go Alec. His team's just too hot. And like I said, I think he gets Bell back soon. I don't know for sure if it's this week, but I think it's going to be soon. I think it's going to be soon. Well, we'll see. I'm hoping, I'm pulling for you, Alec, because if you get Bell back, your team's pretty McNasty. Pretty gross. And then we have the Battle of the One and One. So look, if you look at the weeks, you've got the Battle of the Defeated versus the Defeated, the One and Ones, and then everybody else is kind of a good little mix in there. So the Battle of the One and Ones to get it up. And dude, um, I think this one, gosh, it's a tough one here. I like Kamara. Alex Smith, I think, does well against Green Bay. Um, Devontae does well against Washington. Like that's a could be a high scoring game here. But then again, you've got you've got Green Bay on this side. You've got Zeke and Hyde who are doing well. I think Demarius is gonna tear up Baltimore. Like I, I understand. Week one was crazy. Week two was, I think that's more Baltimore status. I think they get run, not run over, but I think they run into a little bit better teams after week one and they, they have to balance it all out. So, oh, Isaiah Curl, Tyler Lockett, Pierre Garçon, Austin Eckler. Dude, like that's just, I'm not in love with the flex options there. Let's see, we got Tariq Cohen. He's not too bad. And you've got, oh, dude, you've got Buck Allen. Yeah, top, yeah. You, I think this one goes to Jason. I hope. We'll see. I mean, Crowell had three last week. That one had to burn you. Lockett had 12 because he scored again. As long as he keeps scoring, I guess it's good. But I'm going, I'm going Jason this week. Jason, Jason, Jason. See if we can keep up on the five and one. Dude, that was a solid week, man. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to keep up on that. That's week three. The quick recap again, if you're looking at. Oh, boy. If I, if I click the right buttons here. If you're looking at the, the week three. There they are. I'll move this one up just a little bit more to get my head out of it. Nah. Uh, you can see again, though, the projections are heavy, heavy, heavy um, in some in some ways. So, I mean, right now it's it's not too good, but we'll see what happens. I'm hopefully going to get my first win this week. I, I, I'm not going to guarantee it, though. That's whew, bad company to be around. We're, we're, this is the time I'm going to call right now. Week three is over. If you guys would like to pause the video now and hang out and come back and check it next week. Again, I have no idea what's going to happen week three. I will give you my projections, which I just did, and we will see what happens now. Week four, starting now, because I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be in California next week. I hope you all have a great week. I will miss you. I hope you guys enjoy these little snippet videos I'm giving you. And uh, right now we're going to jump into week four right now. Boom. Jason, God damn it. Um, obviously, this is this is a ways out, so it's hard to give. It's hard to give previews. It's hard to give uh, the, the real notice of the projections and all of those things. So I'm actually going to go back here real quick. I'm going to click on this one. Right there. there we go. So, I mean, oh, this one could be tough. I'm, I, it's, it's week four, so I'm hoping Freeman gets back. I'm hoping Baldwin gets back. I know Ingram's not going to be playing. But if I can get those two back and get semi back into full strength, I'm picking my team. Of course, I'm going to pick my team every week. Just what you do. You don't you don't do anything except for call the dubs every week. But uh, again, I, I, I am terrified of, of Jason's team when they get on a roll. Rogers, Evans, Thomas, Graham, Zeke, like when they all get together, they're all very high scoring team. He's got good depth as well. Very good depth for Jason's team. Very, very good. My team, though, we, we I thought we had depth, man, but I'm just I'm just stringing along trying to hope that something happens. I'm playing my depth right now. Playing my, my waiver wire picks already. But I'm, going, I'm getting the dub. That's my guess. Is that, that'll be my first actual win. I'm probably going to lose this week, but I'm picking myself to win. But week four, that's where I'm getting my first win. We've got Sealer and Casey. What a heavy hitter week four matchup. Because like I said, I projected Sealer and Casey to both get wins in week three. So this will be a 2-1 versus 3-0 projection here. 
And honestly, again, it depends on who, who Casey gets at quarterback. But right now, like Sealer's team, I, I don't, he's, he's got Peterson on a bye, Hopkins on a bye, yeah, two weeks later. Um, but I mean, God, like his team is still stacked. I don't see, you know, he, get, he loses Peterson, so what? He throws up, honestly, I'd, I'd throw up Brandon Marshall if, if his name, if uh, Doug Baldwin, actually, no, but Doug Baldwin should be back. So you, you might get Josh Gordon week two of, my, of now being in New England. Congrats to Gordon. Congrats to having Gordon. I think he's going to do well. It'll take him a little bit of time to adjust. He might be able to flex him on, in two weeks. So, again, I'm giving that one to Senior, though. I'm picking Sealer Senior until he loses. And right now he hasn't. So I'm picking him back to back weeks. Sorry, Casey. I know I, I picked against your team and you whooped on me, but we're we're going that way. We're going Sealer Senior. The next one is going to be Gaiman versus Vito. And based on my picks, it's going to be a one and two Tyler Gaiman versus a two and one. Actually, no, I picked Vito. A three and O oh Vito. Did I pick Vito? That that doesn't feel right. I guess I did, though. I guess I did. So we've got Vito squad again looking tough. Uh, we got Tyler, Tyler's looking good. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of heavy hitters. Unfortunately, it looks like Reed will be out that week. Vito has nobody on by week four. Again, right now I'm, I'm picking Vito until he loses. And as of right now, he has it. His team's very good. Russell Wilson against Arizona. That's going to be shut out. That's going to be Seattle all game. Saquon against New Orleans. He's going to be running all over. Uh, Thomas versus the Giants getting everything. Indy versus Houston. That might be a tough one, but like we got Cincy. They've got the Chargers. Those are both two good defenses in my opinion, but I think Vito gets that one. We'll, we'll pick it again. We'll pick it. Hopefully he'll lose between the next two weeks so I can stop picking Vito's team and stop picking Sealer's team. I swear I picked against Vito. All right, week three. We'll, we'll double check. I, I got to check that now. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to cut back real quick. So I, I, don't, I picked Vito's team. I thought I said it's the skull gets the first victory. I did. So what I type in? All right, Vito, you're losing week three. What am I doing? I messed up. I typed it wrong. There we go. I'm still picking Vito week four, but I am picking picking skull week three. I did say that. My bad. My bad. We'll, we'll recap both weeks here at the end as well. I apologize for having to go back there. Uh, but yeah, Vito gets that one. We've got Pabe and Sealer, which right now I have projected to be Pabe 0-3 with my ass week four. And Josh Sealer, 1-2. and two. Uh, This is the week I think that Pabe's team, though, starts to come to life, it looks like. You got Houston versus Indy. So Deshaun Watson, if he hasn't had a good game in the next week, he will go off this week. Like He'll start getting into that trend of having multi-touchdowns. He's going to have to be gunslinging against Luck that week. I think Watson has a big week. David Johnson versus Seattle. Like, Seattle's D looks gross, dude. The, the fucking Bears just tore him up. Apologize for the language, but seriously. David Johnson's going to go off. Marlon Mack, I don't like him, but McCoy should be healthy by then, so you can put him back in your lineup. And everybody else is still there. Again, Sealer does have Brady, Kareem Hunt. He does have Sanders and Gronk, which will be good, but they're playing, they're playing Miami, who's been kind of good. It's gross, but Miami's been kind of good. And New England's been kind of bad. So we'll see. I personally feel like, though, that... Uh, oh, man. Uh, do I give Pobby his first win here? Mm. I think he does, dude. I think Deshaun Watson carries him to the, to the victory here. Um, so, Pave, you're getting your first dub week four. Hopefully, you get it next week. With me, hopefully, we both win next week somehow. But if not, week four looks good for you. Looks good for you. We got it's the skull and Brandon Luna coming in second to last game. And oh boy, you don't hate to see that. You hate to see that. Alex Smith on by Christian McCaffrey and Paul Richardson on by. There's not a whole lot of, I mean, you got a little bit of depth at running back. You can put Frank Gore in there for flexi, but oh, bud, Devontae Parker might have to do something for you. Where he's got Andrew Luck plays Houston. It's going to be a shootout. Greg Olson's already out. Um, I think that one's got to go to Brandon Luna. So even though it, Brandon Luna will come into this matchup, my projection be sitting at a, a heavy one and two. It's the skull will also be at one and two coming into week four. And I think that Brandon Luna gets this one. So Brandon, congrats on another win. Your team is looking good, dude. If you guys are all healthy, um, it's a it's a heavy looking team. It's very, very good. Very, very good, Brandon. And the last one, the heavy hitter bout, the game of the week in week four. 
Alec versus Derek Lee, my two favorite teams. But look at that. That's that's rough, dude. That's rough. Chris Thompson and Cam Newton both on by. You don't you have you have Trubisky, Mitchell Trubisky. And you could maybe plug and play a running back in there if Bell's back. Hopefully by then you can swing something out. But if not, if Bell is not back by week four, I think this one goes to Derek handedly. So right now, again, I'm projecting, I'm projecting that that Bell will be back by week four. That's my projection. Because if he doesn't somehow get back this week um, and Pittsburgh loses again, which I have a feeling they might, might lose before Baltimore, they have a divisional opponent. I see that they have to get Bell back. Again, I feel it. So I'm picking Alec here that he'll have Bell. They'll be running happy. They'll be doing good stuff. Good stuff and things. But again, actually, this video felt like it was kind of short, which is good. I was kind of trying to speed through it because I knew how to get two weeks in here. So again, if you guys are catching the second half of this video on week four, Thank you guys for checking me out again for the second time. And I want to recap. I didn't recap week three, but I'm going to recap all the picks right now. So again, week three, I picked myself, Sealer Sr., Casey, Skull, it's the Skull, Alec, Jason. After that, week four, I picked myself again. I'm going to get back-to-back -back wins somehow. Sealer Sr. again, Vito, Pabe, Brandon Luna, and Alec. Uh, so I'm projecting... Alec to be undefeated come week four, and he'll be the only one I believe that's left based on standings. Sealer Sr. Actually, I have Sealer Sr. also be undefeated projection. Vito does have a loss in there, even though I don't want to go against Vito. I did. I, I remember going back and forth. Oh, because I was like, I, I, I'm picking Vito until he loses. But I feel like I, I feel like it's got to be Skull week three. So I know I originally said before I pick Vito. I'm changing that Vito. I'm changing. It. I'm going against the team. I shouldn't, but I'm going, going to. But anyways, again, everybody, I'm Bryce. Nothing life is free, man. My team right there. If you guys are interested in trading, send me trade offers. I'm open to them. I'll, I'll love to check them out. Again, hopefully everybody's having a good season so far. Hopefully nobody's lost anybody serious yet. Um, I don't know of any major, major injuries as of yet. But hopefully everybody's team's doing well. Um, uh, if, you, if you're Skull, myself, and Pabe, we know we're not doing well. We'll hopefully get on the right track. It always ends up being close at the end of the year. But again, thank you guys all for hanging out with me. Again, Bryce signing out. I'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks, people. A brand new two and two by that time. So I hope you guys have a good time. I appreciate you guys all checking the videos again. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I've, I, you guys have reached out to me personally. Again, that's, that's awesome. I appreciate it so much. Uh, but again, have a great week. Great two weeks. I'll catch you here. Take care. Bye-bye.